a new majority, uh, and they set about the work as soon as they arrived of changing the way business is done in Albany. They have passed the most sweeping reform legislation uh, ever passed in the Senate. They've made the Senate more accountable, more open, more transparent. But, okay, but Josh, um, Josh, hold on, hold on, and, and, hold on, hold yep. on. I hear what you're trying to say, and I understand your message, and you're, and I get it. But the problem is, I mean, on the Democrats' watch, you've seen a member expelled, which was historic. You saw a Senate deadlocked for over a month because two of two members bolted to go to the Republicans. I mean, you've got to admit that at least some of the dysfunction is, is the responsibility of the Democrats who were in charge. I, I get that the Republicans were in charge for years, and you say you have a lot of mess to clean up. That part I understand. But for the last 17 months that you were in control, it was also messy. Yep, that's right, Liz. But I also think that you only need, you know, our, our entrance into the majority was not without its growing pains. Um, and, and voters are right to be angry. Uh, frankly, many Democrats are angry and many senators are angry um, and are seeking to change the way uh, things are done. And I think you only need to look uh, to where we've come since that period. If you look at just last Friday's votes on parks, on race to the top, if you look at votes on public authority reform, Very united. on power Very united. for jobs, yep. I uh, if you look at what we accomplished with the DRP at the end of last year, I mean, I think it is, it is readily apparent that the Democratic conference uh, is, is humming, uh, is moving in uh, one solid, strong voice under the leadership of Senator Sampson, um, and, and elections uh, are about the future. Um, and that's what we're looking towards and how we grow this majority uh, so that we continue the work uh, that we've just begun. And what are you going to do? You have a number of primary challenges actually going on with um, outsiders, if you will, uh, pri taking the fight to the Democrats and, and, for example, some of these long-term stakeholders like the LGBT community angry over those eight Democratic no's are taking the fight to your own incumbents. How are you going to handle that? Well, Liz, I mean, the business of the Senate Campaign Committee um, is certainly to focus on offense, and we seek to pick up uh, and compete in as many new places as is possible, um, as our candidates and resources allow. But certainly, you know, an important part of any offense is a strong defense, um, and we'll be seeking to, you know, protect incumbents throughout the state. Uh, I'm certainly not going to get into the business of discussing sort of the race by race campaign strategy because that would be revealing more information than I care to certainly. Uh, but I think when you look at where seats are going to stay democratic, uh, that you know, and where the primaries are, you know, I think at the end of the day, my job is to focus on where we can pick up uh, new seats. So what I'm hearing then is that sounds to me like you won't be spending money to protect people like, say, the majority leader, Pedro Espada. All I'm going to say, Liz, is, as, as I mentioned before, I don't want to get into a race-by-race race strategy here, but certainly we are going to do whatever it takes to protect our Senate majority and the 32 votes we currently have and, and, and seek to pick up uh, and expand that number uh, by several more. You know, um, it, was, it was interesting in, uh, in 2008, in the last cycle, you had a lot, of, um, or, uh, a lot of effort, or rather in 2006, and then also between then and the last cycle, you had a lot of effort by the former governor, Elliot Spitzer, to flip the Senate into Democratic hands. It was a big priority for him, and it was actually a, a very big bone of contention between him and the former Senate Majority Leader, Joe Bruno. Uh, have you spoken at all to your Democratic standard bearer, Andrew Cuomo, and, and do you have any feeling about how, uh, how much he will be trying to help you keep the Senate? Because there are some people who believe it would actually benefit him if the Republicans were in power, or back in power, because the, he would have a foil, um, if you will, in the Senate chamber. Sure. Uh, there's a lot of inside baseball sort of hypotheticals about what's good, what's bad, everything else. We are looking uh, and working to partner uh, with the next governor um, in the coming months um, and are, you know, hopeful and positive that uh, there'll be, uh, I think you already see the evidence of a strongly unified ticket. Yeah, but he There's says... There's going to be a lot of... 
Yeah, There's going to be I'm, a lot of strategic partners in this. There's also, you know, a series of uh, important congressional <laughs> races taking place, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll be partnering with members. Uh, there as well and with the DCCC uh, to wage an effective ground game which is what we're best at and how we ended up picking up four seats uh, in, 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 or excuse me, eight seats in, in four years but he and says, getting us to the majority. Josh, Andrew Cuomo says Albany is the problem and that the legislature is the problem. Doesn't that concern you? You know, Liz, I think if you look at what our own senators say about the progress they would like to see in Albany, um, in the Senate, in the legislature, you know, I think they are looking to continue on the path of reform that they began uh, just 17 months ago um, and, and look forward to working with, you know, Governor Cuomo uh, uh, and, and, and moving this state forward in a positive direction uh, come November 3rd uh, of this year. Uh, Josh, I actually want to thank you very much. Josh Sherwin, the head of the uh, Senate Democratic Campaign Committee. It's going to be a wild campaign season, and we'll be checking in with you again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Liz. Have a great weekend. You too. There is